Hi guys, it's Matthew here from Matthew's Tech Hub and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we're going to be covering on how you can actually set up Domain Keys Identified Mail, or DKIM for short. Now, if you're like me, you are probably most likely a Microsoft 365 user and you send a lot of emails to businesses and clients. But all of a sudden you've noticed that when you are sending emails to specific, more specifically Gmail and Yahoo addresses, your emails are going into spam. Now you're probably wondering why this is and how you can fix it. Now, um, recently Gmail and Yahoo have, have decided to sort of increase their security, which means that a lot of the senders or a lot of the, sorry, a lot of the um, email receivers even, people that are receiving emails with those specific addresses, are actually requiring that the senders have DKIM records in place on their domains. Now, what Domain Keys Identified Mail does is it's an email, me email authentication method designed to detect forged sender addresses in email. It's a technique used in phishing and email spam. So DKIM actually allows the receiver to check that an email uh, that is claimed to have come from a specific domain was indeed authorized by the owner of that domain. So it's basically just to prove that you are the sender of the domain that it's coming from. So what you need to do first, guys, is if you are using Microsoft 365, this is only what is this video is going to cover on today. But if you do have another provider, um, again, you can also go and do a quick search online or um, if you just drop me a message in the in the message box below, I should be able to find out some information and drop you a message on how to do that. So first of all, guys, we're going to jump into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So you can do that by going to admin.microsoft.com. But for the purpose of today's tutorial, I have just set up a 365 demo tenant. So um, what we're going to do is, so once you're in the Microsoft Admin Center and you've all logged in, at the top here where you've got the search box, you're just going to click on that. And he's going to type in DKIM, which is Domain Key Identified Mail. You'll notice here it will say DKIM in Microsoft 365 Defender, or policy, which is under Policies and Rules, Threat Policies, and then DKIM. So you're going to click on that. I'm just going to wait for that to load. Now, once this has uh, come up, guys, you will then start to see that all your domains that you have set up in Microsoft 365 will begin to show in this section here. Now, because it's a demo tenant, so I've, obviously I've got this on Microsoft demo domain here. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the domain that you want to specifically set up for. So you're going to select the domain here. And then on the right hand side, it says no DKIM keys saved for this domain. That's because we haven't created any at the moment. So you're just going to click on this blue button down here that says create DKIM keys. And then after a few moments there, you will then see that this message in the middle will appear. Now, this is very important that you do read this because these are the records that you, are, that you now need to go over to your DNS provider and add. So um, the main title for the, for the, so it's actually going to be a TXT record. And then the main title is going to start off with this one here. So it's selector one dot underscore domain key. And then you're going to have the TXT value or the text value as this record up to here. And then you're going to do the exact same for the second record, which is down here. So there is actually two records that you need to go and add over at your registration, usually at a registrar or um, if you're using Cloudflare or Namejeep or uh, Fasthost, any of those companies. Um, again, you can log into your domain, just go add those records there. Once you've added those records into there, guys, you are then going to have to give it a bit of time. It will take usually around about an hour for Microsoft to recognize that you've added those domains. Uh, sorry, the DNS records even. But if um, if it is taking a bit longer, it can take up to, up to a couple of days to propagate. So just give it a bit of time and then come back to this portal. Now, after after you've a time bit of time has passed, you are then just going to select into go. Let's start off again. Actually, it's going to select on the domain. So you're going to click on the domain once you've come back to this page. And he's going to click on up here where it says sign messages for this domain with DKIM signatures. So it's going to enable that. And then all of a sudden you'll get a message saying it may take several minutes to synchronize the status change. So that now means it's now enabled. So any emails within the next sort of 10, 15 minutes that you send, once it's all processed on Microsoft side, will start now using the DKIM signatures. And it will, um, and you should, you should then find that your emails will start to not go into spam. Uh, more specific with Yahoo and Gmail, but again, I know there's a lot of providers out there at the moment that are making everyone start to use TKIM. So if you are an MSP like myself and you do manage multiple tenants, it might be worth getting in touch with your clients just to let them know that you're going to be enabling this for them. 
So yeah, that's it guys. That was just a quick video. It's only a quick video on how to do this, but hopefully that's all helped. If the videos are helping guys, please do hit the thumbs up button at the bottom and also hit the subscribe. And also please click the bell icon as well to be notified about my next upload. And also guys, I do apologize for having no face cam on this video. That is because unfortunately my webcam has decided to bite the dust. So as soon as my new webcam arrives, which should be for the next video, um, like I say, you'll be able to see my face again. Thanks guys. Catch you in the next one. Take care for now.